And once reconstruction begins, what will be the major priorities around digital infrastructure for the country? Hey, everybody, what you're Thank watching you. is a... Uh, Over to you. This is a live conference on how Ukraine is being assisted by digital and social media. And uh, there are 215 people in the room right now. 800 have registered from around the world. Um, and I'm honored to be one of the people who was invited to attend on behalf of Zeni 62 Media. Every day, we mobilize oh. all our resources. And by the way, it was free. I'm a member of the International Trade Council. Uh, I should more accurately say Zeni 62 Media is a member of the International Trade Council. Give me a minute to turn on my slides. I'm only showing you part of this, folks, not the whole. Uh, when you see uh, my slides, uh, I uh, today I want to inform you uh, of the actions of the Ministry of Social. Hmm. I think he's trying to show the get the slideshow going there um, somehow. But anyway, um, yeah, there we go. See, she's the deputy minister of Ukraine. Did we, did we lose Konstantin? Yes, I think so. Maybe we can uh, just move further. Maybe. It's a pretty neat off. software. I like that they have. This. Maybe, uh, one area. Maybe you can uh, uh, then. Uh, uh, take over and uh, let's just hope that uh, Constantine will be able to uh, to uh, log back on. But, sure, uh, no problem. Looking forward to your question to switch to digital transformation issues. I'm sorry. Looking forward to your question to proceed. Yeah, and uh, and uh, anyway, from uh, you, I would I would like to to ask uh, one question. They're setting up, you and so I'm just. Um, before the war began, how, war, uh, how far along was Ukraine in implementing a national digital identity? Uh, we, we have a similar system in Estonia, and I know that uh, there have been uh, some discussions uh, within uh, Ukraine and, and uh, activities, so maybe you could uh, uh, describe those. And, uh, uh, and I would uh, also uh, like to pose you a question of how can actually individuals and uh, and companies in uh, uh, far away uh, countries like the US, Canada, Australia, uh, etc., be most effective in supporting Ukraine and its people right now. Maybe you can start from that. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, thank you for uh, the invitation, and thank you for this event, and thank you all for supporting Ukraine. So answering your first question, I would say that uh, the Ministry of Digital Transformation in Ukraine is the new ministry. We are only two and, uh, and a half years old. And uh, before the war started, we had and we have still the great mission to make Ukraine uh, the most comfortable country in the world in terms of public services uh, with no corruption, no fears, no bureaucracy. Uh, we would like to change people's lives, institutions and businesses for better with the help of digital uh, technology. And to do this, we've launched uh, the digital um, ecosystem of project, which is called DIA. DIA is translated into Ukrainian as an action. Uh, so this is an ecosystem of many projects. It's a DIA app, um, DIA application, uh, which is uh, documents in smartphone, uh, DIA portal, which is the portal of state uh, services, DIA business, um, the big project uh, of the development of small and medium enterprises, DIA digital education, national project to teach Ukrainians with digital literacy, and DIA city. And um, I, I could say that we, maybe you don't know, but we have introduced the world's first digital passports in the DIA application, which are complete analogs of paper and plastic documents. Also, Ukraine is the first country in Europe with uh, digital driver's licenses. 
uh, other documents which are also available in Dia app, which is used by the way by 16 million of Ukrainian people right now, is digital student ID, digital international passports, tax number, uh, child's birth certificate, certificate of internally displaced person, COVID certificate, and many others. So actually, DIA enables uh, our citizens to use digital documents in many cases when they are needed. Uh, let's say to travel, to receive postal services for approving age, to receive medical services at the request of a law enforcement officer to identify documents and confirming the citizenship of Ukraine and in many other uh, situations. So I would definitely say that uh, we were not only far, we, we have achieved a lot and still is uh, a lot to come and we are still working um, on lots of services. And um, a lot of countries um, call us digital transformation tigers. So we are trying to move fast, even, uh, even in these times. And as for your second question about uh, the potential help from other countries, I can say that um, you can really help by different ways. Uh, by donating to Ukraine's defenders, for example, uh, by um, helping with humanitarian aid, support people from suffering from the war, families, children, uh, refugees, um, then um, to help us to boycott Russian companies um, in, in, in the world and to boycott Russia, um, demand more sanctions against Russia from your government, because our goal is to is like total boycott of all Russian products and services. Um, yeah, I think that would be great great support so folks that's just some of the uh thank you thank you things you for, yeah. do uh, and businesses I, can do to help ukraine uh, I uh i'm your, going to go back uh, and focus more on this for, subscribe to zenny 62 uh, and bookmark uh, oklandnewsnow.com uh, even, even before the war